an emphatic 4-1 win uh, in midweek for Orlando Pirates against Royal AM. I see them field an unchanged side. Uh, well, why fix it? Well, it make just the one change from a team that beat the rookies, uh, Cape Town Spurs, and that sees Zef from Bokoma coming in for Tiklas uh, to uh, Zef from Bokoma. Of course, uh, Masson. Masson. Yeah. Will she stay? Let's have a look at Pirates on attack here. Very positive start from the Buccaneers here. Mugnani with a cross. And uh, plucked out the uh, board, of course. With... Oh, a mistake here from uh, Skukune. And uh, they are let off the hook as Lepasa unable to again caught them out. And this is the challenge by Njondo, the little big man on Ohezu. Yeah. I think we spoke about that counter press that's going to happen for Orlando Pirates. Here you can see the miscommunication, but also it didn't fall well for Saleng because normally he will carry that ball, but also that first touch as well was the pass out, was let down by that first touch. But those are areas that he wants to be. You build confidence for reasons. He had a very long injury layoff, of course, out for virtually an entire season. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here we go again. China forced to scramble. Well, dream start to the season, a dream start of this game as well. For Zakele Lepasa. He is a man on a mission. You can see why. The reach for his pocket. This was excellent from Saleng, wasn't it? Giving them a bit of the old Le Saleng hunt. Yo, yeah, look. Okay, we'll see it again, maybe better from this angle. Saleng. With a look at, there's no one there, nothing on, cut back. Oh yeah, well he stood on his toe there. Uh, okay, sloppy, you know, giving away positions. So that's happened too often for Skukune. I'm sure Brandon Trutter will not be happy with that. Now, Saleng is in here again, Lepasa waiting. It'll fall from Zanzo! Oh! And uh, look at the last... Oh my goodness! What? How did it stay out? Mufuken couldn't get it in. And the pass I couldn't apply the finishing touch. And somehow... Mokocho. Get them playing a little bit. Nice little ball. That was from from Kamelo Mokocho. Oh, he's who is in here. What a tackle. Oh, he's given a pen. Oh, I thought that was a clean tackle. He's given a penalty. Has Pelangangosa Kumano. <laughs> Take a look at it. Take him this up. Oh, there's contact. Yeah, but there's contact. Uh, Marco never touched the ball. <laughs> but also, it's very clever there from Moise protecting the ball, knowing that uh, whatever contact that's going to be, as long as Marco doesn't. Do on his knees at the other end of the field. You know, it's a little bit of divine inspiration here for Moise to stick it away. Oh, he's oh! The upright comes to the rescue. What a missed opportunity. Who else would you have given it to? Oh, he's who was always going to be the preferred taker. That Marco? Indeed, that indeed, TT, it was an opportunity for them to get back into the game in equal matters. You can see here, the goalkeeper went in a different direction. You can see how disappointed Sangari is. I mean, this is the man that you're hoping that he will be the one that puts the ball in the back of the net. Man also that caused that penalty with those runs. I think he did. He owed to himself again to try and, and get back the team in track. That's a bad pass uh, for Mukocho now. Uh, in here again, he has a chance to run. Lipasa on the double, right place, right time. Hey, you make your own luck. Right spot at the right time, and just like that, Skukuna could have been level. They are now two back. Zakela Lipasa, another brace. Four in two. What's a Nassau six man? <laughs> I mean, this is this is the man that is on form right now. Now, it's Nzonzo wide to Saleng again. Nzonzo and Mark. Oh, three now. Oh, they're running right up now. It's 
getting ugly now. Jojo starts a move and finishes it, him, finishes it himself. Titi, we spoke about the importance of Jojo playing high up the pitch. Normally, when he's playing deeper, he doesn't get into those positions and be able to score those goals. game they need to start pressing high by the way that is in debate one and taking that risk even in an awkward position look at the run tt he knows exactly what is it that he wants to do of course with the help of a deflection from a jima but yet again Orlando Pires continue dominating Donzo, look at this. He gets the pass away, doesn't stop and admire his work, makes himself available. And then Jima with a cruel deflection for Badra. But hey, listen, it was a beautiful move, well worked. And uh, they carved up Skukune's defense. Switching it play. Can he get to. Uh, I know there's 25 minutes still to. Uh, I know there's 25 minutes still to play in this game, but uh, even a goal now just seems nothing more than a concern. Difficult for them. It's all looking too easy, but look at that. Quick as to react. Yeah. Well, Saleh, you know, when he realized the save and he made, he was quick to pounce on the loose ball. And the, the defense of Skukun, on the other hand, caught flat-footed. Yeah, they caught flat-footed. And uh, you look at the two, the two pairing between uh, Cardoso and Jima. Those were the two defenders for Skukuni last season. They were so strong and solid. But tonight, I don't think they communicate very well. If you look, look at the, the ball now that Salen just caught, it just bounces off of Jima. Where's Cardoso? Do you able to cover that? There is a problem there defensively for Skukuni. And today, they're getting exposed. Very unlike Skukuni. This is the one that he finished off himself. Indeed, making that forward run as an eight, playing the ball and be able to unfamiliar position. Oh, this got it through. Hotter with his first touch could finish this. Is that a penalty? Yes, it is. Nico Mobi and he gets a yellow as well. Score. I wonder why uh, Marco was not booked when he. Yeah, but he was caught. Yeah, I mean he was he was in trouble. He was. Yeah. Mad. It was a high risk move from Mobi and Otto reading himself there to score with what would have been his point. Couldn't save either. 
also faced one, of course, against Sundowns when uh, Peter Shalulile converted. And now, Le Passa for his first ever top flight hat trick. This could yet be a big night for Zakele Le Passa. It's Le Passa versus Patra for the hat trick. Oh my word, oh my word, it happens, what more do you say about that?